Back in 2005, when we did the uh, recordings, and now it's just our first time we got together again and we play for this concert. So actually, we did not exist actually. Uh, 77 pack, early 80s California hardcore, 66 garage, late 60s Italian, but very real good fun music, you know. There's music that expresses life and the fun of life and this is not conservative or uh, the opposite by any means. I don't mean expressing the kind of life we do, the way of life, but expressing life in general. Energy, fun, you know, life. There is a connection between your music and the place you come from. Definitely. Can you tell me what? What kind of connection? Our place, our place is pretty boring. So the connection is that we're playing pretty loud because we were frustrated with this fucking boring place and we're still playing pretty loud. Like a mix of electronic, hard stuff and punk. We, we cannot see the electronic element, but it's there. that you sit like dirty and fat after a failed revolution and you hear it in your record player because it's like loud and the, the topics that it's, um, it's about and talks it's, um, 
more like society, but from our perspective and how like the, um, the decadence, the derelict, and how we experience all this decadence around us, or whatever happens around society, not in the political way. Society in an everyday life, like you walk on the streets and what you see around and what you feel about these things that you see around. There is a connection between uh, living here, like in Greece, in Athens, and play your music ever? Yeah, well, definitely there's like influences from, from here. There's influences from here for sure, probably. But you know, it's like, man, wherever you're at, you're gonna soak wherever you're at up and somehow put it out. And you know, maybe it's not like a conscious thing or anything, but like your environment sometimes is just, it comes out somehow in the music. It, maybe it's. You know, it's not conscious or anything, but like your surroundings are always going to influence you in some way. It comes out like this. Just playing music, you know, like uh, try to write a good song. And, uh, it's like free range chickens almost. You have to see which one you catch in the end, and then that's the one that's <laughs> it's going to be that one. <laughs> It's always more expensive when it's free range, but tougher too, tougher. Everybody kind of brings their own taste, you know, like one guy likes jazz more, one guy likes, you know, like old rock and roll more, one guy likes this. We kind of all bring it to the table and ooh, something comes out hopefully, you know. Something comes out hopefully and uh, yeah, it's just a bunch of, yeah, different influences, like definitely rock and roll, jazz. We wanted to have energy, but in the same time have like good melodies and song structure. We listen a lot of, to of like rock music, rock and roll music from all the decades and also other stuff like John listens like Fela Kuti and stuff like that. He has his inspiration in drumming and we're trying to mix all that stuff in a bazooka sound. Like. <laughs>
difficult. I mean, it's difficult from young for young people to find job, and not only for young people, for every people to find yeah. jobs to and some money to have a good time and whatever. But in Greece, people usually, even if they don't have jobs, they found they find a way to have good time and yeah. you know, cliche stuff like this. But it's true, actually. The propaganda that Greeks are lazy and they don't work and they just sit around and spend their money, it's totally nonsense. Introduce, uh, introduce the crew. Okay, okay, I'm ready to not make any sense. This is Mr. Bazooka. Are we rolling? Yeah, this is Mr. Bazooka. This is Solving the recordings, Black Gladiator, the thing with two heads. Look into the camera, please. Look into the camera, please. Don't tell me where to look. And here we have from Holland the one and only Dr. Professor Bon. He's with the anomalies and he's kind of dead now. He's half dead because he had a party party. Okay, really happy to be here. We got the new family in Greece, I think. Uh, we met everybody. I met again all uh, new Bomb Turks and uh, Pete and all, all friends like this. I'm uh, really happy about it. Uh, we did a good concert with our music, we're happy about and uh, Magnetics too.
Cagliari Oops. Uh, from uh, Cagliari, Sardinia. And this guy is the champion. The champion and uh, Farrell is nervous. because we, Cagliari is in the same parallel of Athens and the, the, the weather is quite the same so it was good to be here just because of the weather and the festival I hope we are loud enough to be here I like the oops you know, so. it was a great show last night I thought that was, they were wonderful and, and of course acid baby Jesus you know so. But yeah, it was. I mean, the oops kind of kicked my ass last night. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Yesterday, the oops was fucking huge. I really U useless eaters. I really liked useless eaters. Yeah. Punk rock. Uh, shit. The energy, man. It's all about the energy. That sounds really stupid, but I don't know. It's a good fucking community of people that like give a shit about cool things and don't, you know, buy into the bullshit. We all just get to fuck around and get wasted and play loud rock and roll. It's pretty sweet. We're lucky. We're lucky to be involved.
Well, it's nice to it's nice to play here tonight uh, in uh, the day of the election uh, and the political uh, problems that are having now Greece. Uh, I think it's super cool to um, to mix also this this idea of festival with the idea of uh, of the political crisis that is here. Because anyway, we like to think that uh, this kind of music is uh, has something to say and has a reason to be, not just uh, music and fun. So it's good to mix uh, this, these two things and be... Uh Well, we try to make music by ourselves and uh, not take so much uh, influences uh, from uh, not to be so recognizable in some uh, some stuff. So we try to mix uh, all different sounds uh, and all different ideas. And then rock and roll has always been uh, revolutionary music. So maybe yeah, we can uh, we can be. Uh, è un casino qua, ragazzi. Un casino. <laughs> Here in Athens, the Will Loud Fest. Three. Okay, Kitaro tonight. Kitaro tonight. Yeah, Kitaro Club tonight. <laughs> Three crazy days, a lot of lovely bands, uh, great headline, I think one of the best festivals around this year, I think.
see the party room from here, so sit down, relax, smoke a cigarette. Yeah, it's but the, the best thing uh, we've seen in Athens uh, during these days uh, was uh, Manu Chao walking down the street <laughs> with a beautiful girl. Yeah. Yeah. I say, Ciao, Manu. Ciao, Manu. <laughs> when we were like 19 or whatever and this was like 1990 there okay. so let's put it right about there we were listening to back from the grave compilations on crypt records and garage punk unknowns and pebbles and nuggets and all these 60s punk we grew up on that music to to uh to contribute to that stream of compilation recordings you know to where it's like they took our 90s recordings that we recorded on four track and cassette tapes you know We got Ludo from the kids here. He just played a show. He's sweating still. <laughs> yeah, that's because I gave 100% on stage. So last time I saw you guys was in 2007, I think, in Spain. Yeah. Uh, eight years later, just as uh, yeah, powerful. Yeah. We take care of us because we we like very much playing and we want to do it as long as possible. So we need to stay in shape. That's we try and uh, give 100% on stage and then you get a massive return and then we're happy, everybody's happy. So that's, that's the main point for us to, to play, of course. For the first time, well, uh, amazing, you know. You, you saw the audience, uh, very enthusiastic. Sometimes too enthusiastic. I nearly lost my feet, but I'm very good, uh, like Muhammad Ali. In, uh, <laughs> I sting like a bee, and I, I fly like a. How do you say that? Butterfly. Yeah, something, something like that. This guy is Massimino, best people I know from Naples, Italy.
Maggie, you want to say? Uh, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> I like Raggy. <laughs> Call the bikes. Uh, we we uh, we're from Berlin. We play rock and roll music. Um, we like beer and cigarettes. We had a good time in Greece. Cartagena. No, 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 pero, pero mira la cara aquí, a, a un francés como el ¿Usted cree que es necesario? Por favor, mira que sí, ya está. No, 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 no,
en el sentido de sus letras cargadas de sexo, de pasión, de, de fuerza, de, 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 de fuego. Eh, ya no me lo haces bien en la cama. Es, 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 eh, eh, Francia, no, no. French, French Pass, no. No, no. No, no, no. Sexo, no, no, no. Follar, follar, follar. Senso, senso, senso. Senso, the last show yesterday at four o'clock in the morning doing the show and uh, we were the last band to play on the festival yesterday but the first band to be promoted by Slovenly. <laughs> We make, yeah, what I was thinking about that, uh, it's like kind of a blues shake up with noise and stuff. I had a very good idea how to describe it, but uh, I forgot it. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it, it's blues like, it's blues stuff with uh, you know, all the, the stuff like the bottleneck and the harmonica. And, uh, but we make a lot of noise too. We're only two people, but it's uh, a lot of noise. <laughs>
Destroy Your Boy is like one of my favorite album ever. And uh, there is the first song, it's called Born to Lose Lautrec. Yes. Can you tell me what was going in your mind when you wrote that song? Probably similar to today. I was broke at the time and <laughs> I didn't have a lot of money. And I was working at a coffee shop and the band was kind of getting busy and uh, just thinking about making decisions about what are you going to do with your life, you know, and, and some people put you down for being in a band or saying it's not responsible or not adult or whatever, that you should get a real job. And I just thought it felt like we were working, you know, in, in a good way. I mean, you can like your job too, you know. So it was like, it felt like there's nothing wrong with being in a band or whatever you fucking do, you know, and you should be proud of whatever you do. And, you know, that's about it, I guess. We come from the American continent, it's a big fucking motherfucker. And we hope that you don't hate us as much as we think you do. Rock and roll is still a um, revo revolutionary music, you think, or it's more like only fun? Um, I, I wish it was more revolutionary, you know, um, than it is. Mostly people are concerned about money, with making music and, and whatnot, so it can be, it should be. Who knows, maybe it will be again, but right now, most people, are all they care about is making a few bucks, so. Uh, so like, it's interesting being here right now with, you know, everything that's going on. And, in uh, Greece and and it's just kind of cool to see some of the people involved in the music scene and with that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, I, I work at a music website, and I think you, I think you, you live long enough, and you keep listening to music, and it's like I think things come and go, you know. And uh, right now, I feel like there is not a huge segment, but there's a portion of kind of underground or independent music that is kind of getting into just fun, fast music again. And you know, I like the whole EDM scene just got so huge in the whole world, and even in America, the whole electronic dance music kind of thing. It's just like I think a lot of kids are getting tired of those really huge festivals where it's where it's just a bunch of dudes getting really getting really fucked up and just you know there's a lot you know i think people are getting a little tired of that whole scene but you never know you know music comes and goes so anyway.
it's like people say there aren't like good bands, but it's like it's. I feel like it's the same as when we started buying records. It's like you have to look for good stuff, you know. Even with the internet and everything, it's not like the kind of music we like was never in the top ten usually, you know. After the Rolling Stones in the seventies, that's about the last time favorite bands of mine were in the top ten. So I mean, I like Prince and stuff, but you know, as far as like rock and roll bands, you just got to look for them. But they're there, you know. So they're at the We're Loud Fest tonight. <laughs> Say something to the world. <laughs> the world. Um, uh, fix Greece. Fix the economy. Uh, uh, everybody should buy a Devil Dogs record. And other than that, I don't know. you say the world, Jim? Yeah. Do what you feel. Yeah. And feel what you do. Yeah.